in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. This lecture number two for power network simulation course using MATLAB Simulink, and we will learn how to measure phase angle for voltage and the current, power factor, active power, reactive power, and apparent power. So let us start. This is our previous model for lecture number one. We'll select CVAS and we'll, let's write lecture two. We already measured the RMS voltage and RMS current. Just we'll select, let's select face to ground voltage because we need uh, to measure phase angle. For, um, for voltage so we'll go to our library and we'll open semiscape electrical specialized power system control and measurement and we'll go to measurements select for here this can give magnitude and angle so we connect to voltage we can take one block from here uh, one display so let's run the model to check if it's working or not Pause it so we can see now our phase angle zero yellow phase angle minus 20, uh, 120 and blue phase angle 120 so now we can measure uh, voltage angle is angle let's measure the current the same we'll take we'll connect to current need one more display Let's run it. So as you can see, this is the current angle with angle for R phase, yellow phase, blue phase, and we can see that R phase already lag by 30 degree. Same will be yellow and blue. Now we need to measure the power factor. So I just need one phase from these three phases it will be enough but because there is no model uh, sorry there is no block for power factor so we'll make it because I need only one phase so I need to separate the three signal because this line already have three signal inside so I bring a library common commonly used blocks I will bring the max I will connect here and I will select three outputs so it will separate the three outputs to take only R phase from voltage same I need to make for current So we have from first output we can take phase, phase voltage angle and uh, our phase voltage angle and from here also first output we can take uh, our phase current angle. We will start to build the power factor module or power factor block we'll go to again to library we will select user defined function you will select MATLAB function and double click to open it 
actually this m file and have one output y and input u so we'll build actually we need to measure power factor so our output is power factor our uh, input we can say r voltage and we can say angle just name it to make it easy for you and r i and then for angle so now we have uh, r phase voltage angle and r phase current angle so we'll write cosine the uh, difference between the voltage angle and current angle but cosine already dealing with uh, radian not degree so we have to convert this difference to radian so we'll, we'll multiply pi 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 over 180 So now the power factor already calculated, but we have one issue. We need to define the sign in plus or minus. This one is uh, capacitive load or inductive load. So we will write if condition if voltage angle greater than current angle. So we can say k equal uh, minus one. This means it is inductive. Semicolon and and we will write here k. But because this k uh, should be defined first, so we'll take this equation and put it here uh, last so now everything is okay you can, now the code is written green uh, green color is available here means all the code parameter everything defined we'll close it our block already modified now r phase voltage angle and r phase current angle We'll select our phase from voltage and our phase from current, and now we can display it. Let's run. variable k is not fully defined so let's see again this is diagnostic we can open the function we can open and see why it's not defined ah here it's already defined in um, in if uh, voltage angle is more than or greater than current angle so write else k equal one so it's defined now in both cases. We'll close and run again. Now it's working. You can see power factor is minus 0.85 because it's inductive load. If we change the load to capacitive put it here 0 and here 3 e6 3 mega bar capacitor let's run now it is boosted this means capacitive load we need to measure active power reactive power again we'll go to our library measurements 
and we have already power and Q we'll select power positive sequence with this model here you connect to voltage and you connect to current Here's the power, active power and reactive power. Let's run. This is measure, so we can to make easy measurements. We can add this join here. Then divide over. Into 10 over 6 10 uh, to the power 6 same let's run it now we can see 5 megawatt and minus 3 megavolt with this capacity we need to measure the apparent power same there is no block for apparent power so let's build it we'll take again this in a file remove all this and we'll say here S and input is what and var as we know S equal square root of what bar two plus var to the power two again semicolon. So now we can measure the parent power. We can take it from here. And display more. Let's run it. So now this is a parent power for our loading condition. So now we can measure the RMS for voltage, phase to neutral, RMS for current, and phase angle for voltage, phase angle for current, power factor, watt, megawatt, megavar, and the apparent power. And then, thank you for watching this video. My contact as shown. Please subscribe my channel. You get notification for the coming video.